Okay. <laughs> you guys have been having a bit of a writing fest. I've been downstairs in the kitchen, so I haven't been here. Um, so welcome along. The kids are just watching the end of an Octonauts show that Anna was crying, so we're going to put something on for them. Oh, I will put it on apparently. So that will finish in a few minutes and then they will go, okay? So sorry about the noise of the TV downstairs being switched on. So I've just seen you've all been writing and you're all driving each other crazy. <laughs> Not each other crazy, you're getting driven crazy about this lockdown. Oh, yes. Yes, I have done face yoga in the past. We're not going to do it in these exercises here, but we will start doing it soon. So, yeah, we're going to do our stretch class as usual. And if you haven't heard over the last few days when I've been advertising, we're going to do some face yoga during the class as well. Um, and I think it's something that it helps you look younger if you maintain it over a longer period of time. So they say half an hour a day, but I'm not doing half an hour a day, but I just think it feels good. Oh, what's happening here? Someone else is with I can't see what you've written more, but <laughs> that's all right. So we're holding each position between one and two minutes. It's probably when we come down and lie on the ground that we'll start doing some of the face yoga stuff, which is basically just pulling your face to sides and to up and, and doing different movements with your hands. I'm not going to do the um, moving your lips side to side sort of stuff. You can look that up yourselves. <laughs> yes. right, so if you want, you can push down with your elbows. It's had a crazy day. It just feels like it's been on the go. So it's actually really nice to just calm. I hope you're feeling the same. And I'm glad that you guys have come and joined come join me this evening. I was out with my brother in the afternoon, which was nice to see him. It's been a couple of weeks. It was a... Another catch up, which is good. So, listen, team, we're going to take our legs out wider. Now, as wide as you can take them. And then you can come down and holding on to any part of the leg that feels comfortable, or to your foot, or if you prefer to bring your arms out in front. I'm feeling this stiff today, so I'll just stay up here. And you can just keep using that Pilates breathing to help you come down into it. See, Shepard. <laughs> they should pay me instead of I pay them. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I definitely promote them. I think they do a great job on our oceans trying to protect sea life. And yesterday, the girls did a bit of a fashion show. I'm sure you were, you were there, Val. So they may do it again. Although, Anna's. She was crying because she was saying, I want to sleep with you tonight, mommy. So she's sort of not liking the idea of sleeping by herself. And she got herself worked up quite early. So we were just downstairs consoling. That's why I came in at the very last minute. So if you're not feeling this, you can open your legs a little bit more. After you've been in the stretch for a while, you can probably start to come down and feel like it's more doable to push yourself further. See, at the start of this, I wasn't happy coming down onto my elbows. Now I feel like it's a bit more doable. Just hold this a little bit longer before we transition into the next exercise. So we're just going to gently come up, and we are going to keep our legs wide, okay? We're not going to bring one in. We're just going to take our left our right arm behind and then move down the left side. Just relax the shoulders. Probably best for your neck to have your eye gaze up on an angle a little bit. And so this is all about our waist. So that's what you'll be stretching here. I've talked to you about my dog. I had this dog before. It's a beautiful Kelpie. But it's got a little bit of Alsatian in him. So he's, he's a little bit of a sleeker looking Kelpie. He's a bit taller and leaner. And today he met his twin. There was another dog there that looked exactly like him. We were at Rafi Lake Park. And it was just gorgeous. And they played together so beautifully. Dogs are amazing. They're so cute. Beautiful, beautiful animals. You can tell by a dog owner the personality of it. Well, you can tell the personality of an owner by the personality of the dog, I reckon. So, yeah, it's interesting people that 
don't want to let their dog socialise. <laughs> There's a few of those people out there. Now we're going to hold this one about a minute and a half. Yeah. Ah, oh, she goes. Tell us about Pogoritas. We're watching another show. Yeah, Pogorita de Ana. Después es lo último. Okay? Okay. So come up, team, and just turn to that leg now and work our way down. And I know that we usually do this with the other leg in, but today I just want you to go a little bit harder so we're doing it with the leg staying out. It's not about getting your head down onto your knees. See how I do that and then I'm just bending from my upper back? It's about trying to lengthen yourselves out from the lower back, okay? While you're here, if you can, if you feel comfortable, you can start just to push upward, getting your hands wide and just start to push up along the forehead, but around the temple area, really. We'll do it on the other side as well. But obviously just with one hand because I want the other arm to be holding along the leg. And it doesn't matter which leg arm you're doing it with. Mine's comfortable just letting that um, elbow rest on the leg and then just push it up. This one a bit longer. When you stop, you'll already feel a little bit of a tightening sensation. Yeah. So, team, come up out of that, and you'll feel a real pull through the side, and then the other arm comes behind, and then we go down the other way. So keep your heart upward facing. You don't want to turn down on this one at all. We're keeping ourselves up. So you might find one side's a little bit tighter than the other side. That's quite normal. The side of the leg today feels quite tight. But the beauty of the stretch class, as well as Pilates in general, is that you can even everything out because what you do on one side, you do on the other. So we don't want to neglect one side and be favour for one. We, we do both sides evenly. For those who have still got my feet flexed, both feet. And if anything, that pushing back instead of rolling forward. Okay, so that's what I want you to focus on too. We're really challenging out of this position. They're enjoying Peter Rabbit. Because you're wondering, they're watching ABC2 for kids. So if you want to switch that on, you can watch along with them. Probably more interesting than hearing my babble. Come on up, team, and then turn the other way. Turn the same way, sorry. So come on down. And then when you feel comfortable, we'll just get the other hand and just start to roll the skin upward with the forehead. So this is another, obviously the same exercise, just on the other side. We're still working on the same thing. <laughs> Mana walked the whole circuit of Ruffy Lake Park. Pretty good, huh? And she kept pace. Like my brother and I weren't walking fast. We were not how we weren't going slow either. She kept up. It was good. So really pull up from the outside of your eyebrows. <laughs> A little bit more. And then we're going to come up out of this. 
So come up straight, you'll feel evenly pulled, and then bring your legs together. And let's go for a stretch into our stick pose. Again, the lower back, push forward. Put your left one aside here. Is it you, Mari? So that I can put you on the speaker and then we can all chat. <laughs> if it is, that would be great. Hello. Hi, how are you, Oh, it's not. It's not you, Mari. <laughs> you probably know it's not you. <laughs> it's my mother. <laughs> I said last week that, you know, we should call and we can do a conference call while we're doing the exercises. Maybe next week if you feel comfortable doing it. So let's relax. This one we will be holding in two minutes. This knee is not good. I have a little stretch pass on that one. I think I probably need to massage. I had the sore hip the other week and I gave myself a massage that fell, but it goes up. But I've got this down, but I know it's too late now, huh? A little bit lower if you can manage it. So, Tim, we're going to come up out of that and we're going to bring our left knee under 90 degree angle, not too close in towards your bottom, and then the right leg on top. So the reason it's not too far in, you know, so that you can push that knee down and feel this stretch for your hip. And then you've got your left arm up. You're pushing down onto it. Or if you can, you're holding, lacing the fingers behind. Now to keep, if it's too much with the bottom leg being bent, by all means, you can straighten it out. So nice and tall through the spine here. As you guys know, this class goes for a lot longer than the normal standard Pilates classes that I teach, just because we don't want to shortchange ourselves when we're doing a stretch class. So you should feel a nice lengthening through the spine. If you can't lace your fingers, you can just stay with the hand pushing onto your elbow, but we're actually going to release it really soon anyway. So release that and then push your weight onto your right leg and come down to your left. And if you can't come down to your elbow like me, then you can just be up higher. So then take away that push and just start to push up on the one side of your face. I said I was going to start when we're lying down, but why not start now? Now yeah, we're going to just come up over to the other side. The push on to gently ease your way down. Go down to whatever level is comfortable and then we start pushing the eyebrow up. We're giving ourselves an eye lift, right? Or is it called eyebrow lift? I don't know. It's one or the other. You know, I remember when I was doing, I think it was the pump. It was either pump or body stir. It was pump, it was the pump course and all the instructors were around. It was a long time ago and I was fairly young and I remember all the young, older instructors talking about Botox. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Come up team and they were coming forward. I mean, look, I wouldn't do it because I don't like the idea of putting poison in my face, but, you know, all for it if they want to do it. But I think, gosh, now I'm older. This is something that we can benefit from and it's natural. It's just using your own hands, basically. Do you feel the tighten? Do you feel it? I absolutely feel it. Keep this going a little bit longer and then we're actually going to hug in that top knee, bring it in towards our chest. 
So we'll slightly just come up and we'll pull the bottom leg in closer and wrap the other leg over, trying to flatten that foot and then hug that in. And we're actually going to twist. So you hug, but you twist. Use the back hand to elevate you as you're twisting. So it's your right leg that's on top, team. This one will hold about a minute here. Yeah? Just a little bit longer. And then we're actually going to take this right leg and take it away from you. And then the left leg is going out behind and we're going to roll ourselves on top. So we're just putting our hip to heel. Now while you're here, let's make a fist and start to, if you've got a ring on, actually don't make a fist, but you can just do your knuckles. And just push upward all along your forehead. So this is obviously part of your face yoga while we're stretching. At the same time as you're doing your knuckles pushing upward, imagine that someone's going to hold the foot, the left foot, and they're just pulling you back. Yes, I keep this coming a little bit more. Quiero que lo haga el televisor, por favor, no lo más. So if you don't want to do any more of that, you can just stay still. No need to continue more if you don't want to. Just enjoy the stretch without this face yoga. So we're going to start our transitions, Tim, to make it a bit more challenging. So first level is we're just upright. So you can stay here. Second level is you can bring your hand onto your thigh and just come up a bit higher and pick up your foot. Oh, hello. Next level is we're lacing our hand in. Arm can be up. Or lace. Here we are. That's more interesting than just looking at me in this stretch. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're looking forward to their bar, as you can see. Oh, that's a fine one. I the word. No, Anna, no. No, no, us is Alba and Anna. Few more breaths here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <Few> more. Okay. <laughs> Mari, take a photo of this one. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna release and we're going to come to the other side. Mari was kind enough to take a photo of me doing it. Stretch. A balance with that. I was under my arms the other day. I very much appreciate receiving it. So we're going to bring our left foot forward and our right leg goes back. And now what we're going to do is instead of on your forehead, just pushing the palms up on the cheeks. So from the middle of your cheek upward. So you're going up and then towards the eye, that's you pushing up. So bueno es mi amor, sí, Shepard. No es malo, es bueno. No, es no, Shepard. Sí, Shepard, es bueno. No, es malo, es bueno. 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 
just imagine that your toe's getting pushed back. Pulled back. I can't wait until we can do this again. Okay, so we're going to transition now. So, no, no, no. Anna. No, no. Right, so you can't put your hands on your side. We can pick up our leg. You can have your arm up. Or you can lace your fingers. Estás haciendo trampa, estás enfrenada a la sala, a la sofa. I'll show you from the side. So we're just like that. And with the fact that you're holding your face up, it's not really face yoga because we're not moving on it, we're just holding the skin tight. Take it from the I was able to fix that curtain today. I can't say it's fixed, it's completely open, it's usable. Oh my god, we've got a frog. No, no, no. Sorry, would you go to take off the pants on the way? All right, so we're going to come into our cobra. So we're just going to bring our body forward, shoulders away from the ears. So you have the option, if you don't like the cobra, to be on your elbows and pull forward into your sticks. No worries. We've done up to here for a minute. Here's what it'll happen here to me. No, no, Anna, if you suck on the robot, you can't get your baby. Where's a pavala? You can have a pavala. Okay. 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 She's making it now. She's going to have to put her armpits on before she comes down. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Oh no. <laughs> Okay, push back and we're going to sit on our feet and have a prayer pose behind your back and just take your head over to one side. I'll be you down now. Can I see the outcome? No. Okay. 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 She's not looking where she's going. She can walk straight down the stairs. Not all our stairs. And then head over to the other side. Oh, brass, yes, can we put brass on me more? Brass, yes, brass. Yes, man. Forgot which side my head was on. So we're going to release that and we're going to get into some series of our leg exercises now. So chicas and women, so let me mat. So I'm going to just move my mat back further so hopefully you can see me more because we will come up. So I'm going to get my head cut off. Doesn't matter. I might actually move the screen up. Sorry, and it does sort of matter. No one, no, no. No one can do it. Oh, Ronit has done it. Okay. Okay. So we'll have our foot in line with the knee. It doesn't matter which side you're doing because we'll do both sides. And you're just going to be pushing your weight forward like you're going to start a race. So your heels not down. So keep your seat back. Don't keep yourself forward. Uh, my sofa is comfy and doesn't have pants on. I do not. <laughs> I do not have pants. Hey, where are you? Caro has a very rapid or it's pretty nice color. Un blanco camion. So we're holding each of these for pretty much one and two minutes. Yeah, no, 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 or to check on the job that's being done and make sure it's done well. Yeah. And then they said they had to do something yeah. and I'd be back. And so I said to my husband, when are they coming back? Yeah. And he's like, I don't know. So yeah. I thought maybe it's someone coming back. I would suspect they wouldn't yeah. have this time. Yeah. May I say stuff like our friends and another sort of like your there? All right, so listen, team, what we're going to do is just come up and you want to take your knee to the far side of your mat. And then when you step to the 90 degree angle, take the leg outside so you'll stay nice and balanced. And then you pick up your back leg. Ask God. She is a real Latina, and I'll tell you why. If you've ever been to South America, You've probably seen the bikinis. I said, oh. Now, look at the bikinis that they wear. Basically, you've got, it's like a wedding. You could just go line up the top. That's what she just did. Like this. You can't see it. No, not on my We were at the pools. <laughs> and one of the lifeguards come up to her and they're like, nah, <laughs> can't wear that hat, it's not decent. <laughs> she was so mortified because she's like, it's just a bikini, no me partidas. What is wrong with that? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? All right, so to get out of that gently is just to lean forward and then release that foot back, and then we're going to step this leg forward even more. It's going to sort of go out your body line. 
and then if you want to stay up high, if you can, you come down low. <laughs> So it's quite a strong stretch. This is for getting into your hip openers, a little bit into the quadriceps. Um, Sort of just fit right in until they get a bit bigger. <laughs> it's like it ain't fit so well anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She'll find a way though. She will find a way. Alright, so slowly we're going to come out of. <laughs> And then just cross your hand over, and that way you're gonna feel a lovely stretch all the way down. Mommy, 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 and if you want to keep it and you keep it up, do it. And we'll be with mommy in and we can buy that. The thing is they watch um they watch from Bluey until Hotspot. That's what they watch in the that's their screen time. And they don't have ABC two for kids app, but they hear it because it's on the ad. Between the shows between one of the shows, there's this dance that they do, and there's this crocodile. I'll show you. They're going to do a dance. And they get on the bed and they dance. <laughs> well, okay, all right. Well, <laughs> really? Yeah, I can do With this leg, you take I out to the side. Yeah, and then you just move out to the side as much as you can. And then you can sit your bottom back. <laughs> I wonder what you have in your hands <laughs> around you while you're doing your workout. Do you have little ones? Do you have animals? Do you have big ones? <laughs> Oh, 
She was saying that when she was wanting to come to her bed last night. She's like, mom, oh, oh. And then she's like, anyone, <laughs> anyone, I'm again, I'm again. Alba, Alba. Alba. She didn't say puppy, she didn't say puppy, but she said, mommy, Alba, anyone. <laughs> yeah, I think he said this is kind of good. Huh? I think he said this is kind of good. I don't want No, anyone. I'm again, I'm again. Okay. All right, so we're going to move into the next Yo lo hice, puse en el supuesto, correcto, chicas, es tiempo para subir. All right. Yo lo hice a Kimba. Bye. So we'll come up, we'll step the right, uh, the foot on the right level, and then move it out. So it hurts. And then we'll step up out. On the left, bring it in. Hi. If you want to click to ABC Kids app, you okay. can. Okay. I can. So, if you try, it's I'm called I'm a Lake Party. My <laughs> if you find it, click and we'll be there with a photo. And my dad will be taking it soon. They're going up now. Right on. And we're going to come back now and make it through. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, let's do that. Put us out. And then move that foot outside your body line so that you can feel comfortable either staying up or joining me coming down. <sighs> Crazy times. <laughs> Soon we will come down and we'll be lying on the on the mat. You know, in the morning if you joined me, which I know a couple of you did, I couldn't do it through Chrome because the camera. Everything was just black, but it's working now, so that's good. Hopefully the quality's not too bad for you. So you feel this release through the hip. Yeah. So usually we do these leg exercises at the end, but I thought let's break it up a bit and do it earlier on. So use your hands to push yourselves up and then put your weight back and let the toes come up, your heel stays down, and you're just crossing your hand over. So this will feel it all through the side. And also down in through the waist of the bit. I almost feel like I have nothing to tell you now. <laughs> the entertainment has disappeared. <laughs> There's nothing else to say. Did not shut my curtains so I can see into the surgeries next door though. They've got their lights on too. It's interesting they're still open. A little bit longer here, and then we'll take our leg to the side for the final stretch before we lie on our back. And I'll move the screen down a little bit, I think. So, taking that leg out to the side, 
Just let it go out as far as it can before you sit your body weight back and you feel that lovely stretching through the inner thigh. Pretty windy, wasn't it, before? It's cool. It's calmed down now. Yeah. Actually, I haven't heard anything about WA with the fires or storms, if they've caused any fire. Let's hope not. Gosh, only just in September and fire season. It's just crazy, isn't it? It's like one thing after the other. So you might find you're sore in some parts. So what I'd like you to do is just think about sending the breath there. Think about that area and breathe to it, and that can sort of help you. More breaths here. And then I am going to get us to lie on our backs. So I'm going to come in and just lower the screen down. And then we'll get onto our backs. Ronette, did you enjoy your face yoga? I'm curious if you found it beneficial. So listen, team, let's just pull our legs down. I'll ring you tomorrow. We can talk about it then. Shoulders relax, pulling down. So you'll feel this in your groin. That's what we're trying to just stretch now on the inner thighs. Just relax your upper body. So we're going to extend on from this. If you don't like the extension, just stay here in the happy baby. Otherwise, what we're going to do is just let the legs come out straight and you can place your hands on just to get a little bit of a um, stretch. You know, a little bit deeper into the groin and into the inner thigh. Now, if you want, flex and point. So now we're just giving our ankle a little bit of a stretch to Not too much longer. If you want to stop doing the legs, you can stop doing those um, quantum flex at any stage. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring our legs in. And I'd like you to just do some circle rolls. Just one way. Nice and large and really slow and controlled. A nice massage for your spine here. I can't believe how many people were at the Bunnings this morning. When you do the click and collect, you have to nominate a time when you go and then in half hour blocks. Okay, so let's change and go the other way. So I made mine from 10.30 till 11 because I just went straight from the class this morning. And there were so many people in the line driving, you know, waiting to have their click and collect. You must be doing a roaring trade. Everyone's doing stuff around the house. Really well organised. Very safe. All right, so team, we're going to bring one leg on top. 
and just pull the leg in. So now with your free hand, what you're going to do, that the side that's um, that your hand that you're using is you're just going to start to tap, tap, tap your face underneath the eye. So just tapping, sort of can move in a motion going towards the nose and then going out towards the temple. Yeah. For those of you who want higher cheekbones, I don't because I've already got them. You can suck your your lips in to make like a fish and just hold that as well while you're doing this, but I'm not going to do that. So just the tap, tap, tapping. And then if you don't mind doing any more tapping like I don't, just relax there. You can use both hands to pull in. Shortly we'll be looking. So you can feel one side's different to the one that you haven't done yet, right? So let's hold on to opposite feet. And we're going to allow our legs to come down in this position. Now, generally, we just have our arms resting on the head or to the side. But today, if you want to join me with some more face yoga, what we're going to do is just pushing up towards the forehead, using the palms again to do so. From your chin, up. So the palms basically come together at the chin and then you're drawing up one. And you can do this for as long as you like if you don't want to continue with me, then just stay. But hay fever suddenly just hit me. So just a few more, and then we're going to switch legs. Make this the last stroke if you're doing them, and then bring your arms down and bring the legs up, and now the other leg will go on top, please. Beautiful sounding birds. So we're holding on, and then the other hand just starts your tap, tap, tap. So you're tapping in towards your eye, towards the chin, uh, knee, what's it called? <laughs> yes, tomorrow's that, um, towards the nose. <laughs> you call it a knee, a chin, okay, and then out towards your temple. Just tap, tap, tap. Here. You can have your eyes open, eyes closed. Remember, for those of you who want those cheekbones, fish face, suck in those cheeks and just hold that fish. You know, when I used to live in China back in 1994 when I was a student over there and, yeah, you don't want to know. <laughs> but anyway, we used to, um, they used to make the kids or make us have a break and do these eye tapping exercises and do these, you know, exercises for the eyes because there's a lot of time studying. Back when I lived there in China then, the students used to be there six days a week like, and it was a boarding school. So everyone sort of lived there and then their parents would come and get them on the Saturday afternoon and then they'd be back first thing Monday. Long, long, long days for the kids. All right, so stop the tapping. Just hold it for a little bit longer. And now we are going to hold on to those opposite Think again, lower it down. And now we're going to actually be working under the chin. So we're just, you can use your fingers and just pushing up again from your chin, but this is under the chin now, just pushing away. Now 
And don't think I'm going to neglect the neck. We're going to do some neck stuff too. Just because you know how sometimes someone can look really good in the face. They've probably had surgery. So it doesn't actually look that good. It looks a bit fake. But anyway, they look, the face looks done, but then the neck is all wrinkled still. So we might as well work all of that, hey? If you want, you can turn your hands over and use your fingertips to really push back. And when you're finished, if you don't want to do any more, just let your arms have a rest. Was a little chatterbox. I can hear her from down here. She's non stop. The cousin was trying to convince her that unicorns are real. But yeah, they're real. She said, I've seen one. And then I was like, Why? What? Are they really real? All right, so listen, we're going to take one leg straight, doesn't matter which side, and then the other leg, you're going to bring the knee in and the foot goes out. Okay, so you're feeling this in through the hip. And that's what we're stretching. So the knee is in, foot is out. If it hurts your foot, maybe put a cushion or something soft underneath. And now we're gonna do quite fast movements on the forehead. So you're starting in the middle of your forehead and you're just crossing one under the other, one, yeah, one at a time, but really quite fast, up, up, up movement. And they're still working in the same place. Okay, so just to show you. And then take it to the side that your foot is out and just keep that working to that side, just in the same place. So I'm just side of, of the center. I'm just going to the side bit. And then just to the side even more. So you're still just working that side where the foot's out. We'll do the other side when we take our other foot out. Obviously, it's less length, so we sort of got to make it a little bit more precise. And then to the temple part, pushing it up. Bit of a workout for these arms, isn't it? And just to give our arms a break, what we're going to do is this leg that is out to the side, in a moment we're going to take it and give ourselves a spinal twist before we do the other side. So we've got one half of our forehead done. You'll probably feel the difference to the other half. So this leg will pick up and then we're crossing it over, okay? And then just try and keep your shoulders down. You can hold on to that knee just to pull it up and over. If it feels better for you to have the bottom leg um, bent too, then you can. So this is giving our arms a break for when we do that facial um, yoga on the other part of your forehead. This is a really strong twist for our spine. So just gently bring that leg down and then the other foot now is coming out to the side. So the feet are on. And then fast hands, centre of your forehead, just the centre. I swear it's working. Like I said the other day, I've only been doing it for a few days, but I really, I feel like my face is tighter. Can't see any changes yet, but I feel it. And I reckon it's going to work. <laughs> Just got to maintain it. So start moving it towards that foot that's out a little bit more. So just to the other side, just a little bit more. So it's basically the middle of the eyebrow now. And then just a little bit more of the eyebrow, just towards the end of the eyebrow before we do the temple part. So 
And when you're ready, back to roll so ten. Giving yourselves a real tight sensation in the whole forehead area. And we'll finish that. And then we'll pick up that leg and take it across your body and open out the arm. Just looking away from the leg. Very nice final twist here. I feel like I need a good lengthening, like you know those beds they used to use to torture people and yeah, but I'd like it just in a nice way, just to stretch a bit full. Does it feel like that? You can just go and hang on a monkey bar and just let your legs drop a bit. That, that would work, but we can't go to the parks. <laughs> one day, one day, they're all deserted. Right, so team, we're going to bring ourselves back to centre. Just bend one leg in, uh, both legs in, and then lift one leg up. So you can't see my foot. You want to just have your foot flexed. So if I bring it in more, you can not see it again. So it's flexed. That way you're getting a nice stretch all through the back of the leg. <sighs> Did he stab off? Did he stab? No, I see the nana to Cortina. Stab you to tell me? Dino, Dino, yeah? Yeah. Okay, for must come here. Let's see. Monster kick. Can you see me out, bro? Si. I don't know if I'm going to be a store in London for London. In a store in London, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be a store in London for 30 years, 40 years. Hmm. So we're going to change legs. So just bring that one down. Yeah. Two questions. How long do rhinoceroses live for? I don't know the answer. And the baby birds that we saw in a nest. Whether or not they'd be flying now, I also do not know the answer. <laughs> so just relax in the shoulders as you're doing these. So we're going to just bring that leg in. And we're going to use some momentum to come and have a seat. We'll slowly make our way up to standing in a moment. We're going to get into a bit of a balancing stretch. So we've had the leg over before, but now I want you to hold on to that leg and then just take the arm back. Keep on sitting tall in your body. Try and Lengthen out the back. So this is a bit of a stretch and a twist at the same time as well. And then hold on to either the foot or the inside part of your, um, or the toe, and then take the leg out. We're nearly done, team. 
We'll just do the same thing on the other side and then I think I'll leave you. Hopefully your face feels a little bit tighter. Just know it's the first time. I would recommend you doing any of those exercises and more. You can look it up. And, uh, yeah, if you do a little bit every day, you might find it feels different too. I'm, I'm definitely going to keep going because I feel like my eyes underneath have just been looking so old lately. So I really want to do something about it. <laughs> so bring it on in. Other leg comes over. I completely 100% blame Arna for it. <laughs> the bad nights. They'll get better. It just might take a while, but I'm hopeful. And then hold on, take that leg out to the side. So you can hold anywhere along the foot or the leg that feels comfortable for you. Just make sure you're still sitting tall. Excuse me. Sorry. The nights will get better and I will stop yawning in front of you. <laughs> okay, we'll bring that in and we're going to just come into a wide legged low squat. Now, if it's too much for you being down low, you know your body, you can come up into the sumo squat. And if you do know your body, you'll know what your sumo squat is. Shoulders stay relaxed, keep opening out through the heart. Well, I do appreciate you guys joining me for the stretch session. It's a harder session for me to teach in the sense that I feel like I need to be a little bit more entertaining, but the girls really helped me tonight. <laughs> in terms of being a little bit more interesting, I suspect, than just watching me do stretching, even though I know you guys are doing it too. Pilates is a little bit easier in the sense that you're not talking as much. But anyway, I hope that you guys feel like you've got a benefit from this. And I'm just going to end it there. So take your time getting up, have a seat, drink some water, enjoy the rest of your evening. I will definitely be here on Friday. We're going to be doing some really strong glute arm and um, abs. So, yeah, that will be nice and fun to look forward to. If you have any requests for Saturday, let me know what you want. I might have said we're doing something and I can't remember what it might have been. <laughs> yeah, definitely Friday for those glutes. All right. Take care of yourselves. Nice to see that you're all keeping well and sane. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. Oh, and I'll call you guys tomorrow. <laughs>